Alright, today's objective is going to be... Uh, Arcane Labyrinth to get uh, Richard's ultimate weapon, which is apparently called the Able Lance. So let's see, let's see how that works out. So as expected, as promised last time, I'm just uh, I just got a whole bunch of keywords: My Smart Chronicles, Iron Bars, Utopia, Giants, Mercy, Soul, Sorcery, and I think that's it. Welcome in, Matt. How's it going? 12 more days, huh? 12 more days and then we'll find out whether Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster was worth the wait. Probably not, but looking forward to it. So yeah, I got all the keywords, so we pretty much have all the keywords for... Uh... In fact, we have keywords for Richard, we have enough keywords, I think, for Maria and uh, Guy as well. But I'll take care of that after the next dungeon, if we can. Anyway, so we got the airship. Uh, pretty convenient mode of transport here. And I have actually decided to give Richard the Defender Sword. I think I think it will be very useful in Soul of Rebirth. This is not a good start. You know what? Fuck these guys. Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna get a encounter at the same location. <laughs> But at least I got a different encounter. I don't need the Mankosh on uh, Firion to run away now because Richard automatically has 99% evasion because of the Defender. Alright. The most appropriate keyword for Richard is something that makes a lot of sense and that is Dragoons. Very straightforward floor, just go left. And the next keyword we want to use is five urns. Now the five on floor is a bit complicated, as we had seen last time in the Arcane Labyrinth. But if you've used the Dragoon keyword before you use the Vive on keyword, you get absolutely no encounters here. So the formula I use on this floor is just head. Uh, Head to the right as far as possible, and once you reach the end, just keep heading south as much as possible. And once you reach uh, further south, then you start going uh, left. So it's, it's basically one giant circle pattern. That works for me. Next we want to use soul for some reason. Now this is this is another relatively complicated floor. So we want to head left first, ignore the first path that appears and take the next exit to the north. From there on it's relatively straightforward. First junction take a right. First junction go up and then first junction go all the way left. Oops. And once you hit a dead end, uh, the last pet pedestal is where you find the exit. Alright, what do we want to use next? Let me look this up. I thought I had this memorized. Darkness, Thundercloud, Fire and Cauldron. Yeah, don't use Cauldron unless it's uh, the last keyword in the chain. So we'll go with Thunderclouds. Ah, 
I don't think we've seen the Thundercloud floor before. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the Cyclone tile set. Uh, by looking at the map, this seemed like a relatively complicated area, but uh, what we need to do is just head left from the starting position. And once you reach uh, this this junction, just keep going south all the way. So it turns out, it turns out to be relatively simple. There we go. So after Thundercloud, I think we need to use Darkness. Yep. I can't really make uh, any any sense of. This keyword sequence. So best to just memorize it or uh, keep a note of it. Oh, we are already done with the first labyrinth, right? Let's check out who the boss is going to be. Uh, heal up. Tiamat! Oh my god. This is how you know you're getting to end game. And with end game monsters. There's a lot of it. <laughs> One thing we need to be aware of with the Wow, that's a lot of defense, man. Less than a thousand damage with level 16 uh, hits. Might need to set up here. Alright, alright, alright. I, I, I appreciate a challenge. If it's gonna be a challenge. Uh, let's set up with Protect on as many people as possible. Yeah, Richard's gonna be doing no damage. But I, I don't want to abuse uh, Curse and Sleep. If I can help it. So with the amount of HP that we have right now, uh, we don't really care about magic attacks or damage magic at attacks to be specific. So these kind of attacks, Poison Cloud, Ice Storm, Blaze, stuff like that is what well, it's going to do at best 200 damage per turn uh, across the board. And uh, that, that, that's really something we can just shrug off. So previously one strategy I was considering is uh, just to use Osmos. To grind the hell out of Osmos and uh, use, use it to completely debilitate the enemy. But considering the fact that physical attacks are going to be more of a problem for us than magic attacks. Oh there we go. So she didn't have a lot of HP unfortunately. One strategy I was considering was to use Osmos, but considering that uh, physical attacks are going to be a lot more dangerous for us than magic attacks, I think I think it's best that uh, it's it's in our best interest to not have enemies uh, use physical attacks. I think we've got uh, level 16 cure on Firion now. <laughs> It just got a ridiculous amount of HP. Oops, can't run away. Can't run away? Okay, I don't know that. Wait, where's my airship? Okay, so that's the first labyrinth down. Four floors. Relatively painless. We will be using the same pattern for the first uh, four floors of the next Arcane Labyrinth. Next Arcane Labyrinth has three extra floors. So we'll need to use Darkness, we'll need to use Fire, and then uh, we can go ahead and use Cauldron as well. Cauldron is priority three. Yeah, so if we use Cauldron, that'll... Uh, I think that'll uh, work well for us.
Fortunately, in this arcane labyrinth, I can just land right in front of it. Okay. Let's go with Dragoons. I'm becoming an expert at Arcan Labyrinth now. Maybe yeah, I should try to start optimizing stuff, optimizing those keywords, and you start using combinations. But we're almost at the end, why care? Next up, Dragoons. Oh, sorry, Wyverns. Plus, if you can actually manage the encounters, then it's in your best interest to uh, not care about the combination and actually use this as a good grinding spot. Because uh, in one of the floors, I noticed that I was already getting end game monsters. And by end game, I mean final dungeon monsters. Good for grinding, but I'm not lo really looking for that. Right, next uh, we want to use Soul. Ignore the first. At least I'm getting mostly runnable encounters. So hopefully this will go quickly. And we can even squeeze in, uh, oh no, I was just talking about encounters I can run from. Might even be able to squeeze uh, Palamisha Castle. Palamisha mostly has uh, runnables. Except for the general encounters, I think pretty much every encounter we can just run from. And it's a relatively short dungeon too, it's like 6 floors? Unless, unless you want to pick up all the treasure. Machine guns! The Darkest Dungeon with the Darkness and Dungeon. I've never played Darkest Dungeon, so I can't really comment on that. But uh, based on what people have told me, probably never gonna play that game. And honestly, this is not real Final Fantasy 2. Arcane Labyrinth is just supposed to be kind of a side dungeon. But uh, I've definitely spent more time in the Arcane Labyrinth in this playthrough than in the main game. Simply because uh, all the encounters that you get here just give you so much stats. It's really unfortunate that the so-called challenge didn't remain much of a challenge for long. Alright, so this was the soul floor. Uh, I think next we need to go with Thundercloud. Go left, then keep going down. Oh god, hopefully I can run from this. I just want to run to save time. It's not as if those encounters are challenging. If the encounters were challenging, actually challenging, no shit. And see why first Final Fantasy was so popular. I mean, you have to understand the concept, uh, context rather. There was literally nothing else like it at that time. I mean, you could say Dragon Warrior was a thing, but Final Fantasy was, uh, well, it was a rip-off of Dungeons and & Dragons, and Dungeons and & Dragons is extremely popular. 
but in video game format there was nothing at that time for people to actually enjoy and a lot of this early Final Fantasy stuff is just nostalgia. I, I, I wouldn't say they are objectively good games. I think I think the first Final Fantasy that was really good was FF4. That is still... Uh, how much? 1992, I would say? Uh, this was Thundercloud, so next we want to use... What the hell do we want to use? Darkness. Yeah, we want to use Darkness. So last time we did, did, didn't get to see the Darkness floor. This is relatively straightforward, you just follow this path. The complication in uh, this floor only comes because of... Uh, because you need to you need to get an extra keyword and that's when you have to talk to all of those flames all right now that we're done with thundercloud and darkness what's left fire and cauldron is left cauldron i'm not going to use right now so I'll use fire, then we'll use desert, and then we'll use cauldron. Because the cauldron floor has no exit. So we'll be eternally trapped there, we'll just have to reset. I, I don't know why they made a floor like that. Okay, we've seen the fire floor before, just follow a zigzag pattern. Oops, I shouldn't have gone all the way there. Ah, oh, god damn it. Unfortunately, this floor has a lot of unrunnables. I don't think Richard has gained even one level of uh, weapon skill which is sad but I think uh, level 8 will do fine for soul of rebirth I just want to make sure that he goes there with good weapons and based on based on what I see the able lance is gonna be pretty good it gives him a hefty agility bonus and then uh, in soul of rebirth itself he's gonna get the five on lance as well Although we are going to have to put up with a lot of shit before uh, we get to the stage where we can get the vibe on Lance. Man, I'm looking forward to Soul of Rebirth. It's going to be fun. I hope it won't be as much of a struggle as I seem to remember it from a couple of my playthroughs. This was the fire floor. Let's go with desert next. Because desert is like I incredibly trivial. Just go due south and the exit is right there in your face. I have no idea about the encounters on this floor. I think that's literally in 10 attempts that's the first time I've got an encounter. It's this so short. Now we can go ahead and use Cauldron because this is going to be the last keyword for this part of the Arcane Labyrinth. Alright, let's find out what the, who the boss is going to be. If the... Man, the last boss was Tiamat. I wonder who this could be. Beelzebub? Arguably this guy is more... This guy is easier than Tiamat. Huh. Okay. Arguably. Really? Really? 400 damage with a single target fire 16? But 
but I'm not doing much damage either. So maybe this guy has even higher defense than Tiamat. Uh oh! Hello? What the hell was that? For a moment I thought it uh, soft locked. Shit. He's gone and used Blink 16. Now what do I do? This is gonna take an eternity now. We are hardly gonna do any damage. Let's see if I can curse him. If he's going to use underhanded tactics like using blink. These are supposed to be my strategies, damn it. But Richard is not getting any hits. Let's see if we can curse him. Heck, I might even use the blood sword. One hit, zero hits, great. Eight hundred damage. Now we are talking. Does he not have any physical? Oh, never mind. I basically managed to outpunch him. Okay, so that was the second Arcan Labyrinth. The third Arcan Labyrinth has ten floors. Let's go heal up in. Uh uh, Bovsk? Considering, uh, the first two Arcane Labyrinths took me about 20 minutes, I'm very hopeful. That we'll easily be able to complete this one as well. And we can finally bid Richard goodbye. Alright, try and test the formula. First keyword is Dragoons. Not repetitive at all. I mean, it doesn't have to be this way. I'm just trying to keep things simple. Next is Vyborn. We need more of these no encounter floors, even if they are uh, very convoluted. Sadly, it doesn't last long though. I wish the goddamn puzzle floors did not have encounters. That's the only reason for my horribly bloated HP values. Alright, next up is Soul. Despite literally running away from uh, almost all of the encounters that I can run away from, I have such high HP values. Alright, alright. Part of the reason was uh, I was getting my ass kicked in a couple floors. But those were in... Uh, great. Those were in the unrunnable encounters. Really? Every freaking day? I wish... I wish these guys would only target some, you know, like streamers who have at least five viewers or stuff like that. Do they? Do these people have no minimum standards? Well, I guess that's counterintuitive. They probably don't target uh, the bigger streamers.
so I can see the pattern now. We are probably going to get uh, Astaroth as the boss of this section of the Arcane Labyrinth. Alright, this was the Soul Floor. Next up is Thundercloud. Astaroth is going to be a bitch, actually. He or she, whatever his or her sprite is. He's got uh, HP drain. Oh boy. Protect is not going to help me. Mm, that's going to be fun. Next up is Darkness. I really love the pandemonium background. Don't work. Don't work. What? Two people got toted. God damn ambushes. So much for my magic defense. Let's see, let's see how well a toad attacks. <laughs> Break six! Oh no. Missed. Oh, thank god. Man, these guys are assholes. <laughs> Is it true toad try to attack with his tongue? I thought I thought it would have a mini mini expression of their weapons that they're using. But no, that would be too much fun. Look at that! The toad is trying to lick the enemy. I mean you can't say that's not a super effective attack. I have to say, my Asuna is so high leveled and Furian seems to have so much spirit that uh, he actually managed to cure petrification in one of the fights. That was amazing. You don't get to see that every day. Mitchell, can you please contribute? No? No, we are doing this for you, right? Why the hell am I getting such horrible encounters on this floor? Did I did I fuck up the combination? I'm not even paying attention to to it though. All right, so we are done. This was the darkness floor. Next up, we need to go to the fire floor. What the hell am I getting encounters in the damage tiles? Please run! We can't run from a normal Gigas but we can run from the upgraded Gigas. Totally makes sense. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at how much damage they're doing. This is what lies in store for us against uh, enemies like Asteroid, Death Riders. And the final boss. Okay, we're done with Friar. Now we are in new territory. We want to save Cauldron. Technically, the next keyword is Cauldron, but we want to save that. How many have we used so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Wait, I used Desert after this, didn't I? Let's go ahead and use Desert. Oops. After desert, let's go ahead and use woodlands because that's another relatively simple one. In this room, we just want to go down, left, down, left. Last stream, I was complaining about Richard's HP, but uh, he's really, he's really grown really well. 1600 HP for Soul of Rebirth? I think I can work with that. Okay, what, what do we want to use next? Uh, we have the option of Dense Fog and Goddess Bell. Let's use Dense Fog first. first. I think Dense Fog is the Jade Passage tile set. Yep. The formula I use for this floor and it looks like I hit a pretty good combination because I'm getting shit encounters. Just keep trying to go left here until you see this narrow passage. Follow this passage to the end. Ah, ambushes. And when it opens up, just go north and you'll find the exit there. And now next we want to use Goddess Bell. This is also another simple floor. Just go left and then north and there's the exit already. And finally let's go ahead since it's the end of the end of this part of the dungeon we'll just go ahead and use the cauldron keyword all right pretty sure this is gonna be uh, the boss you're gonna fight is Astaroth let's just hope that Astaroth will spam spells instead of using physical attacks it's totally possible that I'll just die to in one hit if she uses a physical attack. Black Dragon! Oh! Okay, okay, it is not Astaroth. We can we can work with this. attack did uh, 1300 damage and we are doing close to a thousand damage so I'm, I'm fine with this don't even need to set up so this guy is uh, easier than the previous two bosses that we faced
don't have too much HP. Oh my god, he's going after Maria. Not that I'm buying. There we go. Well, 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 I was just complaining that Richard is not getting any sword level and turns out that he's just got his next sword level, so I think he must be up to level 10 now. Alright. So, that was all three Arcane Labyrinths. That was fast. Now it's uh, time to fight Frecules. Man, I'm getting so much money from all of these encounters. Uh, I think I'll be able to buy like 50 elixirs by the time I I have to enter the final dungeon in the main game. I wish I wish items carried carried uh, through to Soul of Rebirth. I would have liked to carry 50 elixirs. Min Minwoo would appreciate that tremendously. Speaking of, could I have given Minwoo some better spells? Eh, what's done is done. I think we established we can run from this. Cool. All right. Let's go down 10 floors of nothingness. Pondering about what awaits us at the end. I mean, what could Frecchios possibly have up his sleeve right now? Did it peak follows, man? Yeah. He's like the most frequent visitor to my channel these days. I'll give us more followers. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, we're getting 10 hits now. 9 hits for... Oh shit! He's got Confused Touch. This is not good. Oh, we are so fucked. Let, let's see if I, I, I can actually get time to set up. Holy shit. I, sh I should blink up Richard at least. Man, wasn't I wondering what he could possibly do? Please don't kill him quickly. This is an interesting fight after such a long time. Oh no, guy's gonna hit someone! Guy's gonna hit someone! Yikes! <laughs> Man, annihilated Maria. Alright, we're still fine, we're still fine. What I want to do is really set up first. Meanwhile, you can uh, bring people back to life, if so desired. I have... I have blink on Richard, but is that gonna be enough? 
probably need to stack some more blinks considering that all of my guys have level 16. Boulders 11. Boulders 9 rather. Boulders 9 is fine. Yeah, I'll have one more, at least two more blinks on Richard. Oh god. Guy's gonna kill someone again. Please hit Richard, please hit Richard. Oh, he hit, he hit himself. Okay, that works too. One more blink on Richard. I need him to stay alive at least. He's our evasion tank right now. What have I come to? Relying on Richard now? Okay, I think uh, these many blinks should be enough. Keyword is should. Next stop, yeah, just spam protect on Furian so that even if Maria and Guy get confused and try and hit him, they will do zero damage. That, that's the plan anyway. But if he's just gonna spam boulders, I'm completely okay with that. I think 3 protect should be enough. So let's just go all out and see how long he lasts. I'm surprised I actually managed to get enough time to set up. Poison Cloud 16. Maria might die. Or not. Barely managed to survive. There we go. Yeah, this one is marginally more interesting. Alright, so Dragoon is his best keyword and we'll, we should get the Able Lance. Oh yeah! Let's check out his stats. Forty-five? Holy shit, strength forty-five, not bad. Stamina fifty-seven, okay. So Spirit twenty-six, Agility thirty. Magic, intelligence, nobody cares. So let's focus on strength, stamina, and agility. 45, 57, 30. Oh my god, look at that attack power. Awesome. And what about stats? 95 strength, 87 stamina. I don't think that's going to help with uh, his HP increase, but if it does, great. And 80 agility, oh god. He actually doesn't even need the defender now. I need to reevaluate re my strategy. He does not need the defender, but, but I might use the defender for Scott instead. We're desperately going to need some evasion for uh, Soul of Rebirth, at least at the beginning. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. I need the I need the defender on Richard. Awesome. So you got the Able Lance. Honestly, these ultimate weapons uh, are more useful for the stats that they provide than uh, for their actual attack power. And once we get the ultimate weapons for our main three characters, I might just grind them up and use those weapons instead of using uh, fists. You know, just for uh, consistency's sake. We are doing Arcane Labyrinth after all. Main, the main focus of this playthrough.
so much for being a side dungeon. I mean, yeah, I understand that uh, it, it's just basically an excuse to grind. Okay, we actually do have enough time to go through Palamisha as well. So let's do that. I think uh, Richard's setup is already good enough. I think we've got only one storyline keyword remaining. Oh, thankfully Furion got an MP up as well in that fight. Oh, that helps a lot. Uh-oh, generals! The fact that we can actually tank an ambush from them is just ridiculous. Oh, look at that animation from the Abel's Lance. Doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as uh, our fists, though. But level 16 fists are equivalent to the Master of Bonesa. It's not a good comparison. Dragon armor! One of the best armors in the heavy armors of the game. The game is teasing me now. Palamisha Castle, we can actually run from the wood column. Oh, I forgot, forgot all of this stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's supposed to be a boss. Imperial Shadow. And of course, Richard gets cursed. Die. And any drops? Nope. how many runnables there are. Inventory is full, you cannot carry any more. What could this be? Ether? Over 19 ethers and mallets. I think there's an ether. Yep. Give me a break! Oh 
god, those vampire girls. Any enemy with a trained, especially weak ass enemies with train touch attacks. More, much more painful than required. This is the official Imperial Shadow. That guy was just an imposter. Now, I have to say, at least it's doing more damage than the Defender. Even though Richard has higher sword level. I'd love to stay and chat, Mr. Gotos. Oh my god. Ambushed by this stupid formation again. I should start paying attention to how much damage those HP drain enemies are doing. That'll help me out against the final boss. Two hits for 800 damage. That means the final boss is going to do like 1600 damage at least. And that's the best case scenario. Ambushed again. What is with this formation? At least uh, the vampire lady decided to attack Richard and none of my main party. She would have really wrecked. Wait, 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 I got the healing stuff. Oh shit, this was part of the plan. Yeah. I need I need to grind up stuffs. You know what? That begins right now. We can we can basically have infinite healing. I completely forgot about the healing stuff. Thank you for not ambushing me. Even starting to get preemptives. <laughs> Alright, this encounter could get pretty rough. It's a whole bunch of uh, corals. But this will be good information. Oh, oh never mind. Did not get a single coral. Okay, I just got lucky there. Protect ring even, wow. Troll me more game. I can't use any of that equipment. At least she didn't drop a ribbon. Round 16, don't think we can resist that. Yeah. Level 16 spells, single targeted. Ah, uh, no way I'm gonna have enough magic defense to protect against that. And if you're not gonna use equipment. Actually, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I've been neglecting something very important. I have the freaking barrier spell. 
Why am I not using the barrier spell? It's still at level one. Crap! That can that can give me immunity against those status effects. I think I think uh, hmm. I think my reasoning was that we are gonna have enough magic defense. Now that I think about it, I think I do have enough magic defense. Okay, never mind, never mind. Panicked for no good reason. Ambushed again. Ouch! Now I have to waste MP. Do I have high potions? I'd rather use those instead. I do have high potions. Maria over 4000 HP, congratulations! Three more elixirs here, very much appreciated. I think I'm gonna have to spam elixirs once I uh, after after every encounter with Death Riders, if I if I actually manage to survive them. Five thousand HP, God! I can't remember a playthrough where. Oh, why am I running from these guys? I can't remember the last time I had this much HP. Maybe the Quad Circle Challenge. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Yeah, I should I should go back and look at that those videos to see if I actually had to grind until uh, quad nine HP. Probably did. Ambushed again! At least you didn't have those uh, vampire women with you. Generals are fine. Oh my god. Seriously. With, with my stats right now, the most dangerous encounter is those vampire ladies. They do more damage than these generals, man! Holy shit! How much HP did he get? Richard didn't get that much HP. So maybe that vitality boost from equipment doesn't really count towards HP gain. Thank you for not, not ambushing me, asshole. Oh no. Use, use charm, use charm. Thank you. Fucking vampires. Thank you for not ambushing me again. I think even those guys are sick and tired of me. <laughs> from preempt now I'm getting uh, sorry from not getting ambushed now I'm getting preemptive attacks on those guys ambush it more well we are done with this dungeon now ambushed okay these guys, these guys are not as bad at least 
god damn you hunter 15 oh crap this is unrunnable let's get the fine I'm not even scared of that cockatrice in the back Maria's staff level increased. What's her staff level right now? Only three. Man, she needs to get that up to ten at least. All right. Last preparations. Richard has the defender and the able's lance, and we cannot wear any equipment. Uh, just in case he starts soul of rebirth at his current HP, I will heal him up to full. I mean, he should. He should. Hmm. He should get a full HP up once he dies, right? That makes sense. <laughs> Who knows? But suddenly... This guy was the ruler of hell. And he wants to take over Earth as well. Bye-bye. What's with the lag today? And in its place rises Castle Pandemonium. I need to think about Leon setup since we don't have the defender. As usual, he's probably gonna get his shit pushed in literally every encounter. Give me final keyword, please. Yeah. So this, this is the final keyword in the game and this keyword, using this keyword, we actually get three special keywords in the Arcane Labyrinth. And I will be doing all of that uh, on stream because it has some story relevance. Not, not, not uh, with respect to the main story, but uh, with the... Uh, whatever little story there was in Arcane Labyrinth itself regarding that guy Diumian. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, now that we are at proper end game now, literally only the final dungeon remains, uh, this is the time we can uh, go to the Arcane Labyrinth and collect the ultimate weapons for, well, so-called ultimate weapons for our uh, main three guys as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing starting next time as much as you can and we'll we'll finally get uh, we'll we'll wrap up the and then once once we're done with that we'll be wrapping up the arcane labyrinth with uh, some special sequence of events which i've been told but uh, let's see let's see how that turns out all right then guys uh, next time